Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Dan again with morning devotions uh, from Athens Christian Reformed Church out of this book, Seeking God's Face by Philip Reinders. Our invitation for this uh, April 17th, uh, the sixth day of Easter, comes as it has in earlier days from 1 Peter 1 verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Our Bible song today is Psalm 70. Hasten, O God, to save me. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. May those who seek my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, the Lord is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come quickly to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. And our Bible reading today comes from Acts chapter 10, verses 39 to 43. We are witnesses of everything he did in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a cross, but God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. He was not seen by all people, but by witnesses whom God had already chosen by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. I love the way that Mr. Reinders combines the texts in such a way that we see in the psalm just the reality of our situation apart from God. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come quickly to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. And then he contrasts that with, with what we read in Acts 10. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. What a beautiful thing that is. You and I, we are poor and needy. You and I, we receive forgiveness of sins through Jesus' name. And this is true for everyone in the world who will accept Jesus. Let's pray. Jesus, judge of the living and the dead, knowing that a verdict on my life is coming sends me scurrying away in fright until I see that my judge is the very one who has laid down his life for me. Thank you that I can face your judgment without fear or condemnation, because I will be raised up in glory, openly acknowledged as your friend, approved and acquitted, and freed to rejoice in you forever. May the joy of that day start now. Amen.
join me in our doxology. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Be blessed today.